ABC Storybook Theater. Tonight's production of The Princess and the Pea stars Sally Field and Sir Lawrence Olivier. Miss Field appears nude in portions of tonight's program, so parental discretion is advised. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. It's just another lousy repeat. I'm sorry. <laughs> From New York, where anything goes but rush hour traffic, the CBS Morning News with Phyllis George, Dave. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the program. Placido Domingo is in town Woo! this week. I have no joke here. I just like saying Placido Domingo. <laughs> I don't know. if there, We have folks here from out of town, and I think we may have some people from out of town. Stay out of Times Square. I'm telling you, that place... Have you been to Times Square lately, Paul? Yeah, you know it. It's... <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. That sounded like an endorsement. I, I love to hang out there. It's, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. It's like another world. I'm coming to work this morning. I walk across 42nd Street. There's a pet shop on the corner of 42nd and like 7th or 8th. They've got a special, a week-long special. All you can eat, $25. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I take this as a vote of confidence. Thank you. Uh, well, you know, a couple of weeks ago, oh, I hate to explain this, because why do we do this? Let's just stop doing this. Never again, all right? You know, we're, it's not really today. What is the date? September 11th. Uh, so anyway, whenever I, I say something here, Paul... <laughs> whenever you say something... See, Paul and I aren't even in the same studio. That's how bad this has gotten. Okay, no. so, but when you see this, it will be much later than it is right now, so uh, let me tell you about this joke. Now, Ronald Reagan, our president, about a week ago, really about a week ago, but for you folks at home, it was last year, I don't know. <laughs> Sometime around Christmas, maybe, uh, he had a small growth removed from his nose, and it turned out to be a very, very, very mild form, very early preliminary form of, of skin cancer. And uh, the White House was, when this happened, they withheld the results of this medical test. And they were criticized for it. Do you remember back that far? Yeah. <laughs> this is impossible to do, isn't it? Okay, so, and now people are saying, well, why did the White... Oh, this won't go anywhere. Look at the setup. It's like eight minutes long. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I need to lie down already. So the White House is being criticized now, or back then, uh, for withholding, for withholding the results of the medical test. And, uh, and a spokesman said today, well, there is precedent. They did the same thing with the results of Gerald Ford's IQ tests. Whoa. I'm exhausted, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. But now there's a good reason why we're not taping night to night, isn't there? I'm talking to our producer now, and he'll tell us about the good reason. The reason is Johnny Carson is repeating, and we have to do everything just like Mr. Carson. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it had something to do with Mr. Carson. <clears throat> well, in, in that case, it's not a bad idea, is it? I am such a weasel. All right. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we got a great show. I don't care about this time mix-up. It won't affect your viewing enjoyment. We have a wonderful program. Uh, Ruth Westheimer is here. Tom Dreesen is here. And a man who has brought us a dog. His name is uh, Peter... Pronounce it for me, Kevin. Peter Blurm. <laughs> Take a guess how this man spells his last name. But, you know, he's brought us an amazing wonderful sweet dog who's going to do unbelievable things for us that will be peter blurm and if we have time we'll get into his last name a little bit later can i show him the last name sure. all right now here here's peter peter now say that quietly to yourselves at home <laughs> Well, 
Well, as that unmistakable music tells us, it's time for another visit from the NBC Bookmobile. And back. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the Bookmobile's beloved library lady, Ms. Kathleen Ankers, and as always, driving the Bookmobile, uh, gruff but lovable old guest. Folks, nice to have you here. Nice you, Kathleen. Now, uh, Kathleen, I notice here you have kind of a card, apparently some sort of a fundraiser going on for the Bookmobile, huh? Yes, indeed, David. The boys and girls have been bringing in their nickels and dimes uh -huh. to help us overhaul the Bookmobile's transmission. Oh, and uh, I see that you have just about gone over the top. You've apparently reached your goal now, huh? Yes, but unfortunately, the money has been stolen. Oh, my God! It was in the careful custodianship of gruff but lovable old Gus when one night it simply disappeared. Yeah, I bet, I bet everybody's pretty upset about this. And no one more than Gus. Lately, he's taken to going on long, lonely drives in his brand new Coupe de Ville. <laughs> All right, let's try to put this ugliness out of our minds and get right to the new books you've brought us tonight, Perhaps, library yeah. lady. Uh, well, here's one, ladies and gentlemen. A children's book, a good children's book, always helps youngsters prepare for the problems of adulthood. And here's one that treats an all-too-common condition that the kids may face someday. It's called Roy, the Elf with Bad Knees. <laughs> Mr. Blurm is here tonight, library Very exciting. Mm -hmm. You know, when the president was hospitalized recently, as I tried to explain in my opening remarks, the vice president stood in, and here's volume one of George Bush's memoirs of those historic eight hours as president. The first 100 minutes, the squeaky chair crisis. We'll be all right, don't you worry. Well, here's a touching and controversial collection of children's thoughts on nuclear war. Man, what a cool explosion. You know, sooner or later, every man must take a stand and assert his own individuality, and that's just what Love Connection host Chuck Woolery has done in his latest book, I Am Not Eubanks. <laughs> Have you ever seen Love Connection? Oh, yes. Yeah, do you, Lovely you and Gus watch it together? Oh, that's a good idea. Sometimes. Sometimes, sure. Uh, ever been caught in an embarrassing social situation? Sort of like this one. Uh, and you have nothing to say? Well, uh, this book is for you. It's Zola Bud's 1001 Zingers and Snappy Comebacks. <laughs> yes, everything from going on a trip to see you next fall. They're all here. <laughs> Having a nice summer? Very good. So Very long. good. Good. Uh, publishing takes a lesson from the motion picture industry with this special summer release. Maybe it will work with books, too, by Jay Smith, executive editor, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Thought we were shooting blanks there, didn't we? Okay. Uh, well, this is a nice big one, isn't it? You know, every armchair general will want this beautifully illustrated guide to the unthreatening armies of the world. They're all here, Vatican City, Swiss Bicycle Troops, the Salvation Army, and, of course, Holland's famous battalion of nosebleeders. <laughs> Maybe it's time to bring up Mr. Blurm. Uh, David Niven's memoirs are fun to read. Shirley MacLaine's are entertaining, but for real reading pleasure, here's the book for me. Law is Better the Second Time Around by Klaus von Bülow. <laughs> you know, they came from different worlds, and the touching true story of their special friendship is told in this book. Yogi and Madonna, Love Will Overcome. Thank you, library lady. Nice to see you again. Good luck to you, Gus. Thank you. Be careful, sir. That's it, folks. We have a wonderful program. We'll get right to it. Welcome back to the program. I think we've got an extra special show tonight, don't you, Paul? Yes, it's exciting. I do, you can feel it in the air. Paul and I, by the way, 
a little personal insight aside, had dinner together last evening, wasn't it? Very nice. Yes, it was lovely. At a posh Manhattan bistro. Yes, which shall remain nameless. That's right, but we had a very nice time. We should dine out well, together more frequently, don't you believe? We did uh, We did what is known in the business as schmortling last night. Schmortling. Now, I'm not yeah. familiar with this term. That is. Uh, that means uh, to go out and, and just have dinner and do shtick <laughs> when there might be a guy named Morty involved. Well, oh, when... <laughs> that's called... That's and, called... And coincidentally, there was a guy and named there was, Morty involved. And therefore, yeah. by definition, we were schmortling. We were schmortling. All right. Last night. Well, we'll yeah. have to do more of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I want to get into this stereo nonsense, but we don't have time right now. But we'll, no. get, we'll take care of it. Okay. We're in stereo, that RCA stereo. That's very special. <laughs> that very but they're, special they're trying. RCA. They're trying. Yes, they, they are. just they need were. the equipment. We're very, very, very close to having that fine okay. stereo image that as we are. As soon as the equipment arrives, yes. look out. All right. Well, well, we'll try and cover this perhaps tomorrow, but okay. we, have a, we have a big show here. My first guest tonight is reaching new heights in the field of sex therapy. First, it was a radio show on WYNY here in New York City. Then it was a cable television program, a best-selling book, a feature film. Now, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, we have Dr. Ruth's Game of Good Sex. Please say hello to Dr. Ruth Westheimer. Tell us about the game, Dr. Ruth's Game of Good Sex. You know why I had to do that game? Because of you. Because of me? Yes, because the other day, you had me in a shoebox. <laughs> well, and I forget, right. if you talk to me in a shoebox, It was a little joke. Well. It was only a joke. I know, I Just know. a joke. I wasn't angry. Let me ask you a question, Ruth. Yes. Do you know these people on the back here? Can we get a good shot of those folks there? Ooh, I just pray they it? never have sex. <laughs> Oh, David, don't say that. <laughs> All kind of people, short people yeah, and tall people really and heavy you know? people can have good sex. <laughs> now, now tell me, first, why why do we have this board game? Did, let me ask you the class. Did Freud have a board game? No. Nope. But if Sigmund Freud would be sitting here with you and me, and we would need one more person because it's either two people or four people or mm -hmm. um, uh, four couples, he would have a lot of fun to play that. And I'll tell you why. Because what it really is, first of all, but don't blush, okay? I'm not you blushing. You and I know each other for a long time now. That's right. What you do with this game, it has a board, and it has pawns, and it has a Dice? Board. Yes. Little miniature sexual organs no. you move around? No, no. David? Anything like that? No, it's in good taste. <laughs> what it has is you can earn, earn <laughs> arousal points. Arousal points? Yes. Which means Maybe. that if you answer certain questions correctly, for example, questions of uh, can somebody get uh, pregnant by doing it standing up? What's the answer? Um, no. Yes. Yes or no? Of course. All that's right, not, of course. That's not, that's not a contraceptive. So, let, me, let me ask you something. Does the word blurm appear anywhere in the... <laughs> no, but I just met him. No. I tell you why I did this. Very nice man. He got a great dog too. Really sweet I'm, dog. Should, listen, yeah. I tell you. Let me tell you. Let's talk about sex, not about dogs. Um, I tell you why I did it because it is going to be a lot of fun to earn arousal points. I don't know what people will do afterwards. That's their business by giving good information. Now, you know, I guess what's going to happen, and it's probably good. liquor involved. If they miss a turn, no. they get it. No. No liquor. No drugs. No, they only if they do give the correct information, and you know what we There's going to be people rolling around on this thing having sex, aren't no. there? You know that. They will roll around, hopefully, after playing it in the privacy of their rooms. <laughs> <laughs> but now, what, it is does this, what does this baby go for? What are we spending here? I don't know yet, but you know what I know? That September 22nd, uh, Bloomingdale's is going to launch it. Will you come there? And oh, yeah, it? I'll be there. Yes? You know I'll okay. be there. <laughs> I think 20, 29 something. So, no, but what's the object? You, you get these arousal points and, and then what happens? The, the police break in and no. take everybody downtown. Consenting adults, you see, it says 
for two, for two to four, four adult, adult couples. couples. Mm -hmm. Play so that's as many as, as uh, eight kinds, people can play. Yes. Yeah. All kind of questions. And you know what? If they get a question that they don't want to ask, they just put it aside. Mm -hmm. But they can give some good information. It really is educational and and fun. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear a man laughing? Could you hear that? <laughs> and then it goes through all of the stages of sexual activity mm -hmm. and it teaches some of the stuff that people like myself have learned from Masters and Johnson, from Kinsey, from uh, Dr. Helen Singer Kaplan who trained me, all of the stuff that we know. Pretty much anything goes then, huh? No, no. What does not go is hurting each other. Oh, well, no, you don't want to hurt each other. But what does go is to learn. I'm telling you, we are going to have the most sexually literate society. That's what we're going to have. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll Very take fun. your word for it. I, I guess it'd probably sell a lot, don't you think? I should hope so. Yeah, all right. How's Larry, your sidekick, Larry Angelo? <laughs> This woman has a show on some cable operation. Is it still in business? Okay, of course. It's going very well. We have the highest ratings on that whole cable. What do you mean that woman has a show? <laughs> First of all... For, for okay. people who don't get the, the cable, does it go out of the tri-state area? Absolutely. It's in 22 million households. That's a lot of households. 22 million households? Yes. Ooh. And you know what? Well, then they Larry, know who Larry Angelo is. Yes, and Larry is doing very well. And he, he took that job. So, explain why Larry took the job. He's got a lot of really David, desperate sexual no. problems. Larry. <laughs> and you said, I'll David, help you, Larry, if no. you be on my show. No, I would have done that. In lieu of you, pay, you're treating you. Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Larry was chosen because he's terrific. Yeah. And you promised yeah. to be on the show. <laughs> Larry has, has a lot of trouble, really. He's a, he... <laughs> Poor Larry, just wait. <laughs> okay, what we have to do here, Ruth, we're going to do a commercial, and then uh, we'll be back, and we have some uh, questions from the studio audience. Is that all right? Of course. Okay, we'll be right back. So, out of this guy. This guy, ladies and gentlemen, will never, ever, ever have sex. David? David, you know better, and especially after they play the game, they're going to have good sex. You're going to have good sex. Yes. They'll be all drunk and goofed up. <laughs> uh, do you bet on the game? No, but you do. No, but what you really do is you learn that there are different things to be done than uh, just those, to get at it. Some of those swap and, deals, is it? No, but some nice foreplay. You learn all kind of new positions. You know what, David? Do me a favor. When you get the game, play it with your friends. <laughs> and then. <laughs> and then. Hey, Paul, I think we have something to do instead of schmortling. <laughs> okay. Um, we have questions from the studio audience. This is just like your radio show. Right. Do you still have the radio show? Of course. David. I don't know. You're so busy. You got stuff coming and going. The radio show is in 60 markets on NBC Radio. Yeah. I just picked up San Diego and Alaska. Got a change? My voice goes from NBC here up through the satellite into Alaska, and I love it. <laughs> markets. <laughs> and the television show is doing very well. Doing well. Growing. Yeah. And you got a chain of motels? No. No. <laughs> That ain't a bad idea, though, is it? I will talk about it yeah. after the show. You've already, I'm sure you've already covered that. Okay, here we go. Uh, questions from the studio audience. My boyfriend seems to prefer who? I'll help you. I'll help you. Question number two. No, 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 no. Is there any sexual position that will ensure the sex of your fetus? Uh, no. Age 24 female. No. no. But the one thing that uh, might help is a little bit of a prayer. Prayer? Sex. Yeah, but you know, maybe. Connie Chung was here a, a while back, and she explained that you can now pre-select and increase your odds of having one or the other. I believe it when there is a scientific institution who brings uh, data that is really validated. I don't believe it. You're calling true. Connie Chung a liar? God <laughs> forbid. No, it's, it, it's, it, they can separate it, the eggs from the, uh, the males from the females. and. I believe that people should have a good sex, and if they do want to be parents, they should accept whatever is Oh, yeah, I, I think, yeah, I, I agree with you there. Oh, uh, anyway, huh? and if they don't want to be parents, what do they have to do? Um, uh, <coughs> break up. Not break up, use a contraceptive. <laughs> How are we doing here? Do we have time for any more of these? Okay. 
Dr. Ruth, does a diet uh, play a role in a healthy sex life? You know, we've been doing this for the last three and a half years. This is the first really good question we've ever had. Don't, yeah, you, don't you think? If somebody goes and has a big dinner and uh, stops himself and drinks a lot of alcohol, then that's not good for good sex. Yeah, alcohol but is not conducive, really. Even a big heavy dinner. Yeah. But a delightful dinner, and you know what I'm going to say, with candlelight and champagne is certainly conducive to a good dinner. Mm. Let me tell you something else. Sure. If somebody sits there <clears throat> and counts the calories, that's not a good love partner. Mm. Because, no, that, that uh, should be done, you know, outside mm. of the dinner arrangement. That's not true. You get very good questions from your students. Well, this is the first really good one. A lot of times they're a little goofy. No. You don't think so? No. I always find something that is of interest in yeah. that question. Well, that's, I think that's a pretty good policy. Even the goofy questions you answer because you think it really might be a problem for somebody somewhere else. That's right. Oh, you learned your lesson. Usually someone in good. prison. All right, now. <laughs> Are we... <laughs> that was a joke. It's only a joke. Okay, we got to go, Ruth. That's it. All right, so we'll... Next Next time, you'll be back, and uh, well, this game will be out soon. Okay. All right. Thank you. Ruth Bye. Westheimer, folks. We'll be right back. Tomorrow on this program, Carl Reiner will be here, singer Whitney Houston, and New York Yankees owner George Steinbrenner. That will be tomorrow night. <laughs> My next guest, this guy and his dog are wonderful. Uh, his dog is named Wizard. They are currently, or he is currently the world, I guess both of them are currently the world champions of an annual competition. It's called the Gaines Ashley Whippet Invitational. A remarkable animal. Please welcome Wizard and his trainer, Peter Blurm. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Your last name is Blurm. 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 And I hope you don't mind me having a little fun with no, it. Did you run out? You ran just, right just out now. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's, is that okay? Oh, sure. We don't, a lot of people usually don't run out, but I was... Oh, okay. <laughs> that's well, all right. Next, no, no. Next time we'll... we'll no, no. It was perfectly fine. Perfectly he actually fine. pulled me out. This is Wizard. This is Whirlin' Wizard. Whirlin' Wizard. And this is... Uh, the dog is a... It's a border collie, isn't it's it? It's a border collie from Scotland, a sheep herding dog. But since we live in New York City, there aren't any sheep to herd. I decided to teach him frisbee for exercise. Now, what is Wizard all worked up about here? He's starting to... Uh, well, he likes audiences and he likes frisbees. Uh -huh. Wizard, do you want to play Frisbee? All right, before we do that, tell them about the competition. What, <laughs> what do you do in the competition? Okay, um, basically it's freestyle, and you're judged on Olympic scale of It's all Frisbee ten. catching. Well, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> he catches them, I throw them. Right. And uh, occasionally I throw it to him and he hits it back to me. Yeah. But, but, but the uh, competition is all dogs and frisbees. Exactly. Okay. Right. All right. Now, now, why did you pick a border collie for this? Well, I thought they were attractive-looking dogs. Great-looking animals. Yeah. Small, portable. Uh -huh. You see, he's got to drive with me and fly with me a lot. Yeah. And uh, very intelligent-working dogs. Now uh, we've had a bunch on the show, and, and they were herding ducks. And right. It's unbelievable to watch. They are, well, they're very intense animals, aren't they? I think he'd freak out seeing all these ducks running around. He's more used to these things. Sure. <laughs> all right. Well, let's get right to it, Peter. Okay. Let me, you want me to hold some of those or something? Uh, no, he usually catches them. Okay. Wizard, you want to play frisbee? Shall I just stand here? Uh, sure. If you want to throw, just let me know or try okay. a trick or something. Okay. Ready? Catch. 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 <laughs> All right. Good boy. Come here. Over here. Ready? This is uh, multiples when you do work with one, uh -huh. one or more discs. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good boy. <laughs> Now, now how, do you, how do you train the dog to have that kind of reaction to the Frisbees? Well, basically, I started by feeding him out of a Frisbee, uh -huh. so he got used to it. And then, of course... <laughs> he, he just never takes his it. eyes off the, no, the Frisbee, he, does he? <laughs> <laughs> you can almost hypnotize him. <laughs> You're getting very sleepy. Down. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's got to catch some more. Don't okay. put him too much to sleep. They're great dogs. Um, okay. Of course, you, you've seen... Now, do, you, do, you, do you reward them with any kind of treats or uh, food or anything like no, that? No, I just uh, All basically with praise, okay. consistency, patience. That's how I trained them. Okay, let's now, go to it. Uh, you've see seen what else the, the uh, Frisbees where they fly flat, but mm -hmm. of course, this is a little bit tougher. Catch. Good. Oh! Good. Yeah! Good oh. try. Yeah. Ready? Three. Go. Wait. Wait. <laughs> yes! That's, that's why his nickname Whirling, of course. Whirling, sure. Okay, over here. Down. Stay. Ready? Let's go. Up. Whoa! Oh, oh boy. Do we have time? Can I try this one? Okay. How do, you, how do you do that? Turn over here. Okay. Put this in your mouth. Put it in my Angle mouth. it down like this. Wizard over here. Down. Oh, yeah. Take. 
You gotta have to let go. Wizard, over here. No, no. Is okay. that, what was the one where he just leaped off your uh, No, knee? no, no, you can't do that. You gotta try something. Well, he's, you're a little taller than I am, you know? Well, we can try that one. Okay, here. Put it in your hand like this. You gotta bend up your thigh. Okay, now you gotta come over here. Down. If I, if I do this right, will you give me plenty of affection? Even if you don't. <laughs> All okay. right, here we go. Ready? Let's go. Hup, 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 hip, hop, hip. <laughs> Only works for me. Remember, I'm the one that feeds him. Okay. <laughs> I can't do that one then. Uh, no. Okay, well, but let's get a... You, you can throw a couple to him. Okay, how far can I throw it? Can I toss it over in the corner? Well, let, no, let's keep it on the carpet. On the carpet, okay. It's otherwise a little slippery okay. for him. This is unbelievable. All right, ready, wizard? All right. Good boy. Safe. <laughs> He's pretty good at very ice skating, nice, too, on Very the side. nice. One more. Get it, get it. Oh, bad throw, bad Here. toss. Wizard. You want to try it again? One more, just one more. Is it, lead him a little bit, but... Well, try to keep him on the carpet. Here you go, Wizard. Wizard, get it. Good boy. Okay, now, what, what's the other one? The one where you were going to show me he... Uh... Takes it out of your mouth. Okay, you want to do it first? <laughs> Make sure we get no, it right. I was right. hoping you, better... you would do that first. Okay, I'll no, do it. I'll show you. Sure. Over here. Lay down. Stay. That's now, an amazing goal. You want to lean towards him like this, mm -hmm. and then you say, take. Whoa! Now, you, you must remember to let go. You gotta let go of it. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, he's got a stronger and jaw what than do you I say? do. Oh, do the one where he, he, he taps do, it up. Okay, wizard. Ready? Tap. Good. Yeah! Tap. Good boy. One more time. Tap. Good boy. You want to try it? Front foot to Down. Front. Oh! Good try, Ruth. Does he do? Does he do a backward flip yeah, also? Front. Let's see the backward flip. Back. Oh, here you go. No, he's, he'll bring it back. Okay. Ready? Down. Back. Okay. He feels a little, a little closed in, but not enough room for the backward right. flip. Right. Yeah. Is there any way? I can't oh. see where he's going. We, we can try turning All around. Right, one more. It? Down. Over here. Good boy. Ready? Okay. Back. No. He's, he's do sticking it. with the front today. Okay. Uh, Okay, here we go. Wizard, now let's try this. Okay. Come on over here, buddy. Come here. Over here. Okay, hold Come it here. on at an angle. Right. Ooh. Lean a little bit down towards him. Ooh, and Ooh tastes like Gaines burgers. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Now, now, he likes that. Okay. Now, you have to remember to let go, okay? I go. promise. Yeah. Okay. Take, 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 take. <laughs> Maybe you should bend over a little. I gotta bend over a little. Okay. Come here, Wiz. Okay. Come here. Lay down. Okay, ready? <laughs> Wizard! All right. Peter, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you got a great dog there. Nice to see you. Thank you, Wizard. Thank you, buddy. We'll be right back after this commercial.